Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days. Starting off with some small game diamonds and the first of those is an antelope jackrabbit here on my own map on Rancho Del Arroyo. I actually spotted this guy while I was out grinding for rare bobcats and I don't know if he's a respawn or just an initial spawn that I'd never seen but I'm always happy to shoot more of these guys. I've said it before they are absolutely gorgeous 100% one of the most realistic models in the entire game just fantastic looking it is a gray which is a fur type i do already have for the jackrabbits however as i said never going to complain at shooting more of these guys and then the second clip is also from Rancho Del Arroyo, but this time from a multiplayer, and is another level 3 antelope jackrabbit. Again on this bottom road spot, which I've mentioned before, is an absolute hotspot of activity, and there is a heck of a lot of rabbits running around down here. And I, I've shot most of my level 3s down here, not all of them, as you will have seen from that previous clip, I've shot some in other random places, but most of them, if, if you're actually looking for one, go to that bottom road that runs from the left to the right of the map, and you'll see it, and it's just full of animals, it's really, really, really awesome. Another grey 6.40 diamond antelope jackrabbit there, again, so one I've got, but I'm really not going to complain. More of these guys as diamonds is always cool. And for the last small game diamond, we're actually here on the Te Awawara server. It was actually Feral Pig drink time, and I came down here to look for Feral Pigs, and this level 3 rabbit, European rabbit, just ran out past me. You can see how close he is. It was really cool to actually have one run past me like that. Really, really happy. Again, you don't see actually a lot of these guys, so I'm always happy to pick one up for the Trophy Lodge. And he is another light grey 2.50 diamond. Really nice diamond there. They do make diamond at 2.40, so he's a little bit above average and it is the light grey fur type which is one of the fur types I really like for these little guys. Again a really nice little model, not the most realistic but they are very cute. Now for this next clip we are here on Hirschfelden and you will have just seen me pick up the track of a piebald European bison bull. Now I've only ever shot piebald cows for European bison and I've only shot a couple of those so to find a piebald bull's track was so exciting. Now I wasn't exactly sure how big this guy was going to be with that weight estimate. I was hoping that he would be big enough to make gold and you can see I'm just catching up to him here the disturbed vegetation saying just now and I was so excited to actually find this. It was so funny because in Scarecrow stream the night before when I'd been moderating he got a piebald European bison bull and I remarked how jealous I was because I've only ever shot females. And then the very next day I find this level 4 piebald European bison bull. Now being a level 4 I was hopeful that he would make gold as long as I made the shot. Now I'm going to try and take a shot on him here as he's trotting away from me and the first shot is not great. You can see I was just too far forward on that shot. If I'd been a little bit further back it would have been good. But I saw he wasn't losing health and as he was quartering away and trotting away there I managed to sneak a, lung, a shot into his lung there which I was really thankful for because I didn't want to lose the medal on this guy because rare European bison don't come along that often. They are a pretty rare animal especially because a lot of people do not like to hunt Hirschfelden especially on multiplayer because you don't have tents and things to access some of the best areas but finding this guy it was just so awesome and I'm I really probably shouldn't have taken that first shot maybe not even the second one really but I'd had so many issues with crashing recently that I just wanted to get some kind of shot in him and not lose this trophy and you can see the vital organ here didn't get him to go very far and you can see they are basically the same as a leucistic plains bison but for some reason these guys are called piebald rather than leucistic now I'm going to pick him up and you can see that first shot was just too far forward and a little bit low. If it had been a little bit higher it would have probably just clipped his neck and that would have been an insta drop which would have been cool. But I managed to get that long shot in and get the full score out of him. He is a 195.30 gold scoring European Bison piebald which is one of the coolest trophies I've ever shot. I'm so thrilled to finally have a piebald bull. I already have a melanistic bull which is one of the rarest trophies you can get 
but I wanted to get the sort of the full set, but have them all as male rares. So this was a next step into completing that goal. So I was really, really happy to take this guy down. For the next clip, we are here on a Leighton Lakes multiplayer server and finding an animal that once again I really wanted for the trophy lodge. This is a level 5 moose with pretty high score estimate of up to 296, but what's so special about this guy is he has one of the racks that I really, really like for diamond moose. This one almost looks like two satellite dishes attached to their head because the sort of the front points are attached to like the main palm, so you don't really have the front and the back, it's sort of one solid piece of antler, which I just think looks really, really awesome and you guys are going to get to see that a lot better once I actually get this guy on the ground. Now he looked a bit smaller than I actually remembered these guys looking so I wasn't 100% confident he was going to make diamond. I was sort of worried that he was going to be some kind of weird troll but with that estimate I was really really hoping this guy would make it because he looks so cool and hopefully you can see there just a bit what I mean about his antlers. So unique and cool looking. I do have a diamond moose in the lodge but it has a completely different rack to this guy so I was so excited to see this one. So now let's go and pick him up. Here he is on the ground. Now hopefully you guys can see what I mean about his antlers sort of being two solid pieces. They look so awesome. And picking him up, he is a diamond and quite a big diamond at 287.50 and 605.23 kilos. They make diamond at 274.90. So this is a big diamond moose, and he really just does look cool. I love those antlers. It's a shame the ear was sort of clipping into his antler there, but just absolutely cool. One of the diamonds specifically that I really wanted, and again, it just came from random multiplayer hopping. I'm so glad to have this guy in the lodge so that I have the sort of basically now have the two styles of diamond moose antlers that I really like, which is incredibly lucky. So yeah, this was a really, really awesome find that I was so happy happy to get. Now for this next clip we are here on a Quattro Kalina server and I was picking up wolf tracks hoping to find a rare Iberian wolf and I actually found one, a female albino. Now I've only ever shot one rare Iberian wolf not that long after Quattro came out and that was on Xbox. It was also an albino, I think it was also a female and I have looked, lo I've looked just everywhere trying to find another rare Iberian wolf because I like the rare wolves, I think they're really cool for both the grey and the Iberians. So finding this girl's track was so awesome. And I actually, as I was tracking her, I heard that mating call. So I slowed down and that meant I got to actually see these guys in their feed zone, which just felt really cool because normally with wolves, they're either attacking you or if you're trying to track them, you'll end up spooking them, especially with all this brush. But it's kind of cool as well that there was a winter in the pack. So you can see that this is the female albino and then you'll be able to compare that to the winter male which was actually this level 5 here. Now they did go aggressive and I was just I didn't really mind how my shots ended up going for these guys I was just more concerned about the albino being down and I was expecting them to actually charge me a lot faster which has been happening a lot with wolves recently where they've just sort of run full pelt but they didn't so I had to put my scope back on and just take a couple of shots at these guys the first shot was really bad the second shot actually ended up being a heart shot and you can see I was just towning them. I really didn't want to shoot too many because I don't like to create a lot of hunting pressure on multiplayer servers but at the same time I didn't want to die and something weird happen because this is multiplayer and ends up losing that female. That's the winter male as he came across there and then decided to flee which was really good that they didn't actually kill me there. I was very nervous that I was going to get killed and of course the render bug has been fixed but I just don't, I don't like to be ending up going so far away from my trophies that they go out of render. Because you never know if someone's going to, else is going to try and pick them up. I've seen that happen to other people. So it, to me, is the priority is to pick up this female albino. And as we walk over to her, you can see that she is most definitely albino with a very bright pink nose. Absolutely gorgeous. It's been so long since I saw a rare Iberian wolf. This was so exciting for me. And now you can see a silver albino 33.10 scoring but of course the score isn't really what matters with this one it is the fact that she is an albino with that beautiful snow white fur absolutely gorgeous animal that i am so thrilled to add to the trophy lodge 
Now this next clip is pretty insane and I just cannot wait to show you guys. You might actually have to help me out with some information about this one even because I've tried to find out some information about it and I haven't actually managed to find anything completely concrete. But I was here spotting all of these wildebeest and I just noticed the female crowned that's walking in. Now crowned wildebeest are extremely rare and they can only be females. You cannot get male crowned wildebeest. And level three is as big as female wildebeest, to my knowledge, and everyone else that I've asked can get. I've never seen one bigger than a level three. And this is awesome. I have a level one that I got a few months ago and it was my first one ever and I was so excited. And the feeling of excitement did not change with seeing this second one. The rest of this server was just so empty and small males and nothing cool and then I find this and she is beautiful. The level three females actually have pretty good looking horns and everyone that sort of goes for crown wildebeest wants to get a level three female because they actually look good and they're pretty much as big as you can get. It's like trying to find a level five gold because that's as big as the males for the gold for a type can get. But you can see I managed to put a lung shot in her there and she is going down. It was a single lung but I'll take that, it just needed to hit her vitals. And you can see just the striking coloration on her as she runs away and she actually collapsed just there, just past these two um, gold colour males. Now. I was so excited to go and pick this thing up because this is pretty much the ultimate crowned wildebeest that you can get in terms of it being a level three. And you can see the horns on her, just really nice size on such a beautiful rare. And then I picked her up. That is a 260 kilo flat, 26 score flat, female crowned wildebeest. Now this is where I might need your gu you guys' help with actually some information about this. Now the 26 was the top of her score estimate and I am thinking that this is a max for female wildebeest. I know it said up to 265 on her weight estimate but I know that with females it can be a bit weird with their weights and the fact that it's 260 kg flat makes me wonder if this is a max for a female wildebeest. I could be completely wrong but it just seems very fitting that it's 260 kilos on the dot and 26 on the dot. This is no matter what, if it, even if it isn't max, absolutely huge. And I have posted on the Facebook group and in like three or four discords saying I think this is max and no one has been able to give me a definite for certain answer. So if you have that kind of information, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to know either way. Um, but she is a giant. That is pretty much the biggest you're going to get for a crowned wildebeest. And that is really awesome. It would be really awesome if they could be males. But there can only be females at this point in time. So this is basically the best one you could ever find. And that is so awesome. I'm so, so thrilled. And finally, we're back on Hirschfelden again. Remember how I mentioned I'd like to get a rare of each for the male European bison? I picked up this albino male European bison track and I was running around trying to work out where he'd actually gone and I turned around and looked behind me and he was there, stuck, fleeing. Now this does happen a lot. If you play Call of the Wild you'll know you've probably encountered animals where they've gotten stuck like this. But this is only the second time ever I've had it happen on a rare. The first time was on a dark brown lion on my own map, but this guy in multiplayer it seems sometimes that they get stuck with the water's edge. I've seen that a lot where they'll get stuck around the edge of the water. But, oh my gosh, I was so excited. And of course I had to take some screenshots. When do you get the opportunity to photograph an albino European bison male? And unfortunately it is low lighting, but I'll edit those later and post them up. This is honestly so cool. This was the last piece I needed to have a collection of all of the European bison rares as bulls. And thankfully, he actually managed to get unstuck right while I was stood next to him. 
And I felt so much better about actually shooting this guy when he was unstuck. It almost felt like it would have been cheating to shoot him while he was just frozen in place because of that glitch. But I managed to take him there with the 300 with the iron sights as he was running away. And you will have seen the vital blood spatter. He was not going to go anywhere from that shot. And you'll see we're just a little way behind him and he falls over. These are extremely, extremely rare. You do not see, as I mentioned, a lot of rare European bison. And this is the first alpino I've ever shot, and it is a male, which is awesome. Just such a beautiful looking animal, and exactly what I wanted, and exactly why I was here. He's only a silver at 165.70, but I really, I just don't care. I just do not care about his score. He is an albino European bison, which, again, has to be one of the rarest things I've shot in this game. Because you just never see these guys get posted. They are so, so rare. And I honestly couldn't have asked for a better hunt. I have had some really awesome hunts, mainly in the last sort of day and a half. A lot of these trophies have happened. So it's been really fun and really exciting. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all of these trophies, especially seeing as a couple of them are really, really special to me now, like this uh, this albino bison and that, that crowned wildebeest. So yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all the support and for the patience while I have been trying to get some more trophies down for, for another video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.